think everyone knows the story about uh, the tragic end of Abraham Lincoln uh, fell to an assassin's bullet April 14th, 1865 at Ford's Theater, shot there and then later died across the street at the Peterson House on April 15th, 1865. But a lot of people really don't know the story after that. Um, and behind me really is kind of the continuation of that story of Abraham Lincoln, because this is Abraham Lincoln's tomb. This is where his mortal remains lie. Um, really, it took a long journey for him to get home from Washington, D.C. It was literally the largest funeral that the United States has ever seen at that time. It was a huge procession, and it was estimated that 25% of the United States of America actually saw uh, the, the train or either the hearse or the pageantry that was associated with the funeral. In fact, two uh, future presidents actually saw his uh, train actually pass through. One was a very young uh, Theodore Roosevelt in New York City where he was born and raised at the time. So beyond that, on May 4th, 1865, this is where that continuation of the story of Abraham Lincoln um, not really ends, but I would say, in, at least in his mortal life, it obviously did. And this is where his uh, tomb now sits. Now, in 1865, none of this was here. No tomb was waiting for him, so it had to be built literally from the ground up. So after news of his tragic death really reached uh, Illinois, the citizens of Springfield uh, kind of banded together and decided to really, uh, really uh, make a final resting place fitting for its most famous son. So by 1871, the building here you see was rededicated. And a lot of um, kind of history, uh, I think, into itself of really this tomb, even more so than the actual life of the president. And when he was buried here, he was buried along with his son, Willie, who died in 1862. That was temporarily buried in Washington. Um, also, some of his family members are buried here, ex with the exception of his oldest son, Robert Todd, who was actually buried at Arlington National Cemetery. But really, the history more so of that, even just, you know, just visiting a grave. Um, there's really stories of grave, ro grave robbing uh, really in the 1880s with his, with his corpse and the failed attempt and really uh, the last time anyone's actually touched the, touched the face but actually seen the face of Abraham Lincoln which was in 1901 uh, when he was actually being exhumed and just really a lot of uh, just fascinating story uh, and like I said the story of Abraham Lincoln doesn't end in 1865. It doesn't end on a five dollar bill or really a penny. Uh, but really a good chapter of this, I think, uh, really rests literally right here at the Lincoln Tomb. When you walk up from the parking lot here at Lincoln Tomb State Historic Site, the first thing you'll see, uh, at least to me, that stuck out was the Lincoln head here. And this is a copy of the original in Washington, D.C. Uh, two things about this that I wanted to mention. The first thing is that this was sculpted by Gutzon Borglum. And if you've seen in a previous episode of Road Trip Story, uh, we were actually at Mount Rushmore, and that was the, actually the same sculptor that uh, sculpted the very famous four presidents on the side of Mount Rushmore, same guy that did this head right here. In fact, uh, Gutzon Borglum was really entrenched in the American ideal so much that when he died, um, really of some unfortunate circumstances in 1941, right about before he completed Mount Rushmore, his son Lincoln Borglum uh, completed it, and that's right, Lincoln. He didn't, that was no coincidence. He was a very big fan of of American history, American lore. So um, that's really kind of the tie in there. And you can really see that episode on our site. Now, the second thing that I wanted to mention is his nose. Look, it's very, very shiny. And the, really the uh, kind of the, the lore of this is that if you rub his nose, it'll bring you good luck. Here at Abraham Lincoln's tomb, his state historic site, you really get to see finally the, uh, the last full measure almost of his life really. and. I think really the the, uh, the feeling I get here of the tomb is uh, just almost like a memorial to the uh, not in so much as him uh, it is, but in also a way of really the nation's mourning for him uh, because each of these what these represent everything almost every brick you know mortar uh, every just piece of stone here in the memorial really represents the nation's outpouring of grief for really this great leader of the 19th century. And you can really see here by flanking just really, um, it shows all uh, aspects of the war. And the rear end, you can't see it here, but uh, like the, just the, like the naval kind of action. So you get the Navy, the Army, cavalry. And really uh, this represents uh, just kind of the zenith of what Abraham Lincoln was. He was a great leader. He unified everything. I'm, I'm from the South. I'm from Georgia. We don't really get to, uh, really get to see much of Abraham Lincoln my, myself, at least personally. And really with that, the more I've studied about him growing up, um, you know, Deep South Confederate, I really got to see um, and really read about uh, kind of with, um, as you can see, unbiased uh, ears and eyes uh, learning about him growing up. And really Abraham Lincoln was really, he was just a great man. He wasn't a leader to me. He, he was a father. He was 
someone you could talk to almost if you're like in downtown uh, Springfield or where we were earlier in an earlier episode in New Salem or a lot of the places that we're in between uh, is just being a just a really honestly good man and that's why his name was Honest Abe. So again, you really get to see beyond the myth and the legend and I hope really with a lot of these episodes you really get to see what kind of a man he was, the man that, uh, yes, he did free the slaves. He did he heal the country by bringing it back together again. In fact, um, I think it was the day he died, either April 14th or April 1865, a reporter or someone asked him about what should we do about the uh, Confederates uh, now that the war is ending. And he just said, let him down easy. He was a very simple man. And um, they give him a lot of credit for, for, what, he for what he did, very self-taught very smart man, but at the same rate though, uh, what I like here, the, the thing that I take away from the, uh, the Lincoln Tomb State Historic Site is that the nation is never ever going to forget this man, not as long as really any good and decent man like him are still here living in the United States of America. Now, building Mount Rushmore from the ground up started with an artist eye, and where it started at was in the artist studio of Gutsan Borglum, and how he did that to really transfer the size of the small sculpture